Welcome to another episode of In The Zone. I am your host, Chris Broussard, and we've got another great show for you today. Kyle Kuzma, great rookie for the Lakers, stopped by, has some interesting stuff about basketball and hip hop to say. Of course, we got my man Jay Mack here for Knockdown Jay, and boy, it got heated up in here today. You wanna check this one out. And of course, I'ma lead off with the top five postseason player power rankings. At number five, Donovan Mitchell. I know he's gone fishing. I know the Jazz were eliminated by Houston, but I gotta give the rookie some love. He was tremendous. First, he eliminates an MVP, triple-double machine, Russell Westbrook, and his perennial all-star teammate, Paul George, with a 38-point performance in the closeout game. Then he plays great against Houston. Plays the point. Ricky Rubio's out. No no problem, I'll give you 11 assists, which is a Jazz rookie record in the playoffs. Remember, John Stockton played there, of course. He was great, 22 points in the third quarter of game five. Donovan Mitchell, and throughout the playoffs, nine 20-point games. That's the second most ever by a rookie tying David Robinson, Elgin Baylor, and George Mikan. When you in that type of company, you make the top five. At number four, Chris Paul, CP3, gotta give him some love, reaching the Western Conference Finals for the first time in his career, and boy, did he make a statement in getting there. 41 points, 10 assists, seven rebounds in the closeout game against Utah. A lot of people have been talking, heck, I have been talking, wondering if CP3 can get it done in the clutch when the moments are tight. And he answered that with a resounding yes. And it wasn't just the closeout game. The last three games, he averaged nearly 28 points, dropped 22 assists, and only had one turnover. One turnover in three games. And he needed to do it. Because James Harden, the deserving future MVP of this season, he struggled for his standards in the last three games. Shot 37% from the field, including just 18% from three-point range. So CP3's heroics were needed and he delivered. At number three, Anthony Davis, the unibrow, gotta give it to him. I know like Donovan Mitchell, he's fishing. He's on vacation, he's done. But look, give him props for his first playoff series victory of his career, leading that surprising, stunning, shocking sweep of the Portland Trailblazers. And then he got it done against Golden State. Look, they're just not as good of a team as the Warriors. But you can't blame the unibrow, 30 points, 13 rebounds a game throughout the postseason. He was fantastic. That's why he's number three. At number two, Kevin Durant. I know there are a lot of Warriors contributing, a lot of Warriors playing great basketball. All of their stars are, but KD is leading the way. There is no question about it. He has been the mid-range assassin. His old teammate, Andre Iguodala, said it reminded him of Michael Jordan. I mean, when you get that type of love, then you have to be high in the rankings. Durant has been phenomenal, hadn't been on fire from the three-point line, but his mid-range jumper from all over the floor, the left side, the left wing, the right corner, the right wing, free throw line extended, up above the free throw line. He's been fantastic, played great defense as well, and giving you over seven rebounds a game. KD giving him his props. And at number one, same as last week, you know who it is, LeBron James. Couldn't be anybody else. I mean, let's just focus on one thing. The notion that LeBron was not clutch is put to bed, put to death, put in the grave. Two buzzer beaters in the playoffs in the last two weeks. Two buzzer beaters, guess what? That is one more than Kobe Bryant had in his entire playoff career. 
Think about that. That gives LeBron five buzzer beaters in the playoffs to win games in his playoff career. Two more than Michael Jordan. That's more than both Mike and Kobe have combined. I don't want to go through the 34 points a game and the eight uh, rebounds and the nine assists and the 55 or 54 percent shooting percentage. I mean, he's on fire. He's a one man wrecking crew. He's starting to get some help from his supporting cast. And look, it could end ugly, I know. They'll beat Boston, it could end ugly in the finals, just up against a better team. But right now, LeBron James is the king, the toast of the playoff power rankings. <laughs> All right, we're honored and privileged here to have Kyle Kuzma joining us My in man. the zone. What's Appreciate up, man? Good, Great good. rookie season. Appreciate it. I enjoy watching you play, and let's get right into it, man. You you doing like a media tour. <laughs> I seen you on TNT, Area 21, ESPN, now here at Fox. What, what kind of sparked this? I'm just a wanted man, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, after the season, a lot of people just, you know, um, Wanted to see my face, I guess. I don't That's know. That's good. So uh, this isn't you good, sparking it. It's people no, coming yeah, after you. No, yeah, for okay. sure. Yeah. If it was me, I would just be, you know, chilling. But, okay. um, you know, life after basketball, other things. So, you know, it's good for sure. Good. Now you say chilling. So what what do you like to do when you just chill out, cool out? If I'm just hanging out, not hooping or anything, um, you know, shopping is cool. Okay. Uh, I'm big into, like, fashion. So okay. I'm always looking at different websites and things like that, bowling, you know. All right. Regular, a lot of regular. So stuff. you every you you bold, but then you also the GQ like yeah, the fashion. Yeah, for right. sure. Was that now? Were you in the fashion before you got into the NBA, or it's like now I got money to spend? Now I'm gonna get in the fashion. I got more into it in college, okay. but you know, of course, you get more and more into it when you have more money. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So mm -hmm. now you can do your thing. So, yeah. um, who do you think is the best dressed NBA player? Me. Is okay. Yeah, if that's yeah. no question. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Who who do you are there other guy who else is well dressed? Who are some other NBA players that are well dressed? <sighs> James Harden is I like his swag. Do you? Yep, yep. I like All him. Right. Um, he kinda of out there a little bit. He's out there, but it's <laughs> but it's in his lane though. He looks comfortable doing okay. it. Uh, is Russ, that that's not your style. I don't, is that your style? Would you wear some, some of the stuff? Some of the things. Not yeah. all of it. Okay. But uh I like Russ. I like Russ just because, you know, it's him. You know, yeah, that's the yeah. biggest thing about swag. You know, it's not about what you wear, it's how you wear it. And, you know, he wears everything to the fullest. So. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice way of saying I wouldn't wear it, but for him yeah. it works. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah Now what about the older guys, LeBron, and with they're more, well, LeBron used to be really suited a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you in the suits and stuff, or is it more Getting casual? into it, getting okay. into it. I don't know really too much about suits, but okay. uh, no, I, I'm look, I look good in them, so yeah, I got to right. you know, get into it. All a right, bit more. all right, yeah. all right. Now, are you, this summer, are you going to playoff games and stuff like that? Uh, I haven't yet, okay. but um, I'm planning to. <clears throat> How much are you watching? Oh, every game. Are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, when you watch, what are you, are you watching just as a fan, or are you taking – things from people's games and, yeah. and even things you learn to do against them and stuff like that or what? You know, I, I don't think, you know, you can watch the game as a fan anymore, especially once you're a player. You know, you, you, you're you just so into, you know, getting better and improving that you just, you're locked into the games as a, as a coaching mindset. Okay. So, you know, for me, watching the playoffs has been a big experience, you know, not just playing there, but um, you know, I'm learning so much from, you know, the game. It's, yeah. a, it's a completely different game from the regular season to the playoffs, so. Who who's your pick to win it all? Um, go Golden State. But it was tough for you because I tough. most people it's just like it's Golden it's State. It's right away, clear. yeah. So you think I, it'll be interesting? I want to see how they do against Houston. I know I think Houston's had a phenomenal season. Um, Bron is Bron. Yeah. Never, I'm never going to count him out because yeah. you know he's the greatest player of this you know generation. So. No question about that. No, no question. Okay. Okay, because some people thinking KD, mm -hmm. you no know, Kobe. Some people thinking no, nobody. Yeah. I know it's hard to go against Kobe. It, it's, Lakers, it's, it's hard to go against Kobe, <laughs> um, but I mean, he's been in the final seven straight times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, something's yeah. got to give. Yeah. You know. Now you got two of your team, former teammates, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr. They're playing with LeBron in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Are you still in touch with them, or do you? A tad bit. A okay. Tad bit, yeah. Have they said anything about what it's like to play with LeBron? Easy. It's, it's yeah, very right. easy. You know, you're you're getting, you know, shots put on a platter for you. Just, you know, here's your dinner. There you go. Just make, just make the shot. Yeah. Just eat the food, you know. 
Um, so, you know, that's the biggest thing they always say. You know, his leadership skills are, you know, pretty A1, so. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, there's talk out there. I've been hearing stuff, yeah. you know, all year about <clears throat> LeBron is going to the Lakers and all that. Um, when you hear that talk, I mean, what, what do you think? Like, well, I don't want to get caught up in the tampering, you know, <laughs> but, you know, it, it will be fun. You know, it's always fun to play with guys that make, you know, their teammates better. You know, it's just like playing with Lonzo. You know, I think for the most part they have a similar type of game and how they yeah. approach it by, you know, making that extra pass, playing the right way. So it, w it would be fun. There's talk about him and Paul George. I, we've all heard it. You've heard it. If – because I know you don't want to tamper. I don't want to get you in trouble. But let's, if it works out free agent-wise mm -hmm. and the Lakers get the two top free agents on the market, how far are y'all going next year? I mean, pretty far, honestly. I Specifically. Mean, I, I, can't tell you, I, can't, I can't tell you where, but I know we'll be playing you know, well into May. For sure. Championship I think, I think, would be – but that would be like, oh, we can get it. It, yeah. it wouldn't be like – Let's work it out and see how far we can go. It would be like we can – you Definitely. would go into the season thinking we can win it. Yeah, because I think next year getting nobody, we could be in the playoffs. Okay. Yeah, I thought we could have been in the playoffs this year if you ask me. You know, we had a lot of games this season. You know, we won 35 games, but we had a lot of games at the beginning of the season that we didn't know how to win as a young team that we could have yep. won. So. Yep. Yeah, I did play well mm -hmm. later in the season, no mm -hmm. question. Your individual goals, what are those um, for next season? Um, you know, really just to, you know, keep improving. You know, I had a pretty solid rookie year. Yeah, really put up, put up good numbers, but, you know, I think for me I could take to another le level. You know, at the end of the season, I did a great job of playing the three when B.I. was hurt and I was able to really, you know, unlock, you know, some things that I've never really done in my mm -hmm. career up to this point. You know, that's handling the ball, being a, a wing. Um, getting better defensively. So for me, you know, it's just getting better at those little things, tightening it up and, you know, really trying to take to another level. Did you surprise yourself at all? No. Nope. Because you surprised a lot of people that you played so well. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a very confident person. So, I see. You know, I'm never <laughs> – yeah. So I'm, I'm not really phased or, you know, yeah. I'm always confident. Now, it, I thought you should have – I mean, you played a lot, obviously. I thought you should have played even more. Mm -hmm. I assume Luke, you know, I know defensively. Is that what they really trying to get you to work on? More yeah, so that's the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, um, I, I proved that I could be a you know pretty good scorer in this league. But, you know, for me, I want to be a great player. And that's, you know, being a two-way guy. And, you know, down the stretch, um, I put a lot more effort in. And, you know, I got, I got better as the season, you know, progressed and yeah. defensively, so. All right, so who um, is your closest friend on the Lakers? Lonzo. Lonzo, okay. Mm -hmm. um, what what kind of was the bond? What built that bond between you guys? Like, why are you guys so close? I mean, we're, we're just rookies. Um, that's the biggest thing, you know. Coming in as a rookie, you do a lot of things with your other, you know, rookie teammates because they make yeah, you do yeah. rookie duties. Yeah. So, you know, we go, we go through the same things, you know, we go through the same exact struggles. We've never necessarily been through this before, you know, the yeah, NBA. Yeah. So, you know, it's always good to go. So know, what, what were some else. of the things they had y'all do? Uh, a lot of, you know, rated R things that can't really speak about on uh, camera. But in the locker room. I give you, you know, we got donuts. Okay. You know, we got donuts, got food for team planes and, uh, you know, help teammates out on the road whenever they need it. Now, you know, these are things, young so. dudes telling y'all to do, like, you older, were yeah. you older than Brandon Ingram? Are yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, B, not B.I. I ain't listening to B.I. But, <laughs> so it was, I was nah, going to say, like, nah. they, like, yo, you my age, yeah, come on. yeah. <laughs> anyway, but you know we got KCP, Lou Dang. Okay. You know okay. had Corey Brewer, Bogut. You know we had we had a fair share of vets. All right, so. all right. So Lonzo, obviously, Lavar is you know Lavar. Mm -hmm. Um, what is that like as a Lakers player when Lavar's making these comments? Whether it's about Luke Walton, whether it's about Lonzo needing to play more, playing in the fourth. Like, what is that like for you guys as teammates? Honestly, like, we don't really talk about it, honestly. So, no, but they, never in the locker room. Is never. It? So, now you, Lonzo's boy, are you ever like, man, your dad be true, you know, even I'm in a, a man, fun I, way. I like, make the jokes. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you know, I'm a, I, I'm a comedian sometimes. So, okay. you know, I always, you know, jab him for sure. But So, give me an um, example of what you might say to him. Like, um, man. Like, LeVar just said, I'm better than Michael Jordan. 
<laughs> yeah, I would just bring that up in a subtle way throughout the conversation yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. something like that. You know, yeah. it's all you know, funny game. So did did so none of his comments ever caused tension never. in the locker room. Oh no, never, right. never. Okay. You know, there was a thing that came out talking about you know Luke is losing the team yeah. and all that stuff, but you know that never really phased us. You know, does did Lonzo? Because I, if I was in that situation. I feel like I would feel like I got to say something to my teammates. Like, look, man, that ain't how I feel. Or my dad, you know, he just is my dad, my dad. He going to make comments. Did Lonzo ever explain things to you guys or just, you know, say, look, I'm not, I don't feel that way or anything like that? He never really had to. You know, he, he's, he's a, you know, a person that is very shielded in a sense. You know, if you don't know him, he's quiet. Yeah. And I think that's one of the best, you know, attributes he has because, you know, he doesn't let things phase him. You know, he has all the pressure and hype on, on his shoulders and you wouldn't even know by, you know, his, you know, body language and expression. So Okay, okay. Now you're active on social media. You went at it with LaMelo on some things. Yeah. And I'm I'm looking at it like, man, this little sixteen year old acting like he's on Kuzma's level, you know, when they going back yeah. at it with you. Are you close probably with him? bigger than me, probably. <laughs> you got right. 4 Social followers. media, right? I guess so. <laughs> are y'all close to you and LaMelo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, so you close with the whole family, kinda. Yeah, no, that's you know, that's the thing that people, you know, you may see what me and Lonzo do on T V, but you know, we're really, you know, good friends. You know, I talk to, you know, his brothers and you okay. know, all communicate, you know, it's cool. Now you close with LeVar? Um, no. I haven't you don't necessarily really have talked to him. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I was gonna wonder if is he bigging you up to, oh, like he bigs up Le- nah, Lonzo? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Nah. I've only I, talked to him like twice, maybe. Okay. Have you ever played ball with Lamelo? Like, has Lamelo ever played with you guys or anything uh, no. like that? No. I mean, he's been overseas the whole, yeah. you know, okay. year. So. Okay. So your boy Lonzo raps. You mm-hmm. rap? No. Nope. Like that. Not at all. All right. Um, I think he's pretty good. What he's do you think about good. Lonzo's no, rap? He's skills? pretty good. Yeah, he's definitely pretty good. Is who's is uh, other guys on the team rap? Um, does anybody rap? I don't think so. So he's the, just, he's the lone. Yeah. Does he do? Does he rap rapper. a lot in the locker room, like, or just he just doing his? Music? He plays music from time to time. He'll you know, play. People it in tell the, him to shut it off, but <laughs> sometimes. So, but I like it. You know, I dig it. Do, do you like? Yeah. Does, does he have skills? I think so. Okay. He okay. he's a different type of rapper. You know, NBA rappers. You look at Dame. You look at um, Lou Will is a rapper. Yeah, I heard Lou Will is nice. Lou Will's pretty I haven't nice. Heard him rap, but those I heard him. those guys they rap like a J. Cole type of vibe. Okay. And, you know, he's like a new school, young, you know, not necessarily amigo, but like that type of rap. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why people are like, oh, is he good? Like it's but hard to he's I don't got know good what he's beats, yeah. you know, people love him, you know, so So um he wore we we gonna play we gonna play a game with you. Okay. All right, because you 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 kind of did you compare him to Nas? No, you, so it was like I saw your, your yeah, I did, but he was uh, <laughs> you know he he said that Nas wasn't good like yeah. months ago, so yeah. Now brought that up. You a Nas fan? Yeah, because I, I think Nas, Nas yeah. is arguably the best top five lyricist, lyricist ever. Top five, yeah, yeah, not best ever, but top five. It, 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 he when he was at the height, uh-huh. I think it's hard to compete with him. It ain't hard to Three tell. Stacks. Just it's tough. Yes, yes. Three yes. stacks probably number one in me. All right, all right. I was gonna ask you who's your favorite rapper. Favorite rapper? Well, it's not three thousand, but okay. lyrically, I think um, my favorite rapper is um, Tupac. So. Oh, so mm-hmm. you old school? Yeah. You like old school rap more than? Time and place. Okay. Time and place. But I listen you a lot of old school, school music too. though. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, R and B stuff too, or just R and B? Yeah, R and B too. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, Flint. You know MC Breed, you ever yeah. heard of him? Mm-hmm. Also, you see? Yeah. That's, that's Flint's finest, Yeah, I know right? my rap. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. That's way before you way were born, before. I oh, think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> way before. All right, so Nas, this is called Nas or Lonzo. Okay. All right, I'm going to recite a lyric, and I want you to tell me who, who wrote that, Nas or Lonzo. Okay, gotcha. All right. So when they lose it, then I got to keep it moving. People asking what I'm doing. Money's convos, keep it fluent. Damn. <laughs> Probably Nas. It's, I got to admit, I thought it was Nas, too, because that's kind of dope. That's Lonzo. Lonzo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
when they Crazy. lose it, then I got to keep it moving. People asking what I'm doing. Money convos, keep it fluent. That's kind of dope. I, I know he had fluent in his vocabulary. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, here we go. Uh, bright lights, lots of seats, lots of people, lots of screams. Baby, I'm doing my thing. I'm a lion. I'm a king. Nice. Lonzo. That's Lonzo. Yo, he giving Lonzo big props, boy. That's crazy. Man. Big props. Because if you saying his stuff is on the level of Nas. Okay. I'm not saying it's on the level. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just trying to, you know, play the game. You all know? right. All right. All right. Here we go. Through the lights, camera, and action, glamour, glitters, and gold, I unfold the scroll, plant seeds to stampede the globe. Come on now. That's Nas. Nice. All right. That's definitely Nas. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that, that was Nas. Nice. That was intricate That's a little right too much for Yeah, that was intricate. All right, last one. My physical frame is celebrated because I made it. One quarter through life, some godly light thing created. Nas. Nice. All right. Did you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That. Lonzo ain't talking about life yet. <laughs> All right, so a few more things. Um, good job in that game, too. Um, your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Yeah. Love and Basketball. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's one of my, that's, one, that's probably my favorite basketball movie. Yeah. That's probably my favorite basketball. Mm -hmm. What'd you like specifically about that? Just. I just like how they grew up together. <laughs> they grew up and um, just like the story play of it. Like, it's one of the first movies I remember watching, so. Yep. Favorite NBA player growing up? Uh, Kobe. Kobe, okay. Who did you did you model your game at? Why'd you laugh? Why'd you laugh? No, my friend, you gotta say friend that in the background. No, my friend in the background, he's just funny. With the Kobe <laughs> talk. Um, who did, is anybody you modeled your game after? Um, I take a lot from a lot of people. Uh, more so now Kobe. Uh, really? Helps being a Laker, but yep. you know, the way I like to score, um, trying to be efficient, you know, that's right up his alley. But, um, you know, I grew up, you know, trying to mimic, you know, KD. Okay. You know, guys that are long, skilled, like wings, um, LeBron in sense. But, you know, a lot of guys for sure. Does Kobe give you, do you have a relationship with him? Yeah. So he, so you, he'll give you advice, help you on your game? Oh, uh, like yeah. What? Mm -hmm. What's that like? I mean, a guy that you grew up idolizing and now you, you got a relationship with him. What's that like? It's pretty cool, you know. It's not, it's not just you know any other uh, random guy to have a relationship with. It's Kobe Bryant, you know, <laughs> somebody that's one of the greatest players of all time. Um, you know, somebody that's been through where I'm trying to get to. So you know, it's a great resource. Did, have you guys played any at all together? Nah, nah. Can you imagine that? It'd be fun. You think? Has he challenged? You know, Kobe will talk some trash. Has he oh, definitely. No, nah, I haven't. Haven't yet. Haven't yet. Y'all talk trash to each other? No, we're not on that level. Okay. They're definitely not on that level. But um, you know, anytime I have a question, you know, he's he's always there, so it's cool. A couple more quick things. Favorite thing about your rookie season? Favorite thing. Favorite thing. Uh, just traveling to different cities. Okay. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I never really left Flint growing up as a kid, so a lot of the cities that we've been to and played, it was my first time being there, so it was cool. What was your favorite purchase? Purchase. As your rookie year. Like, you know, once you got your money. Got a house. Your, okay. Got a house. Out in L.A.? Yeah. So yeah. you stay out here in the summer? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like to do, you know, hobbies? Hobbies? Yeah. Um, shopping, the shopping thing. Okay. I think that's definitely a hobby for me. Um, I like to bowl. You know, I do that. What's your average? Um, 150. So I can get, I can get like to 150. Great. I ain't great. But, but that's, that's not bad. 150, 160 is solid. Because I, I interviewed Derrick Rose. Right, right, he was a rookie. Uh -huh. And I asked him, he was like, man, I love bowling. You know, I'm in the bowl. I was like, oh, wow. So what's your average? He's like, eh, about 115. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's bad. how you into it that much nah, if you got bad. 115? Yeah. All right, 150 is good. I'm, I'm, my high is like 210, though. Really? Yes. Yeah, okay. Not bad. All right, good. Well, look, man. Appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Yep. You did a great job uh, your rookie season. I'm looking for uh, some big things from you next year and the Lakers, mm -hmm. whoever y'all get. For sure. You know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, man. <laughs> All right, back again. Another episode of Knockdown J. My man, Jason McIntyre. Good to be back. He, he's Chris. always coming back. <laughs> he, he takes a licking and keeps on ticking. So what you so. got for me this week? Uh, Chris, uh, you know, we're finally at the conference finals. Um, Rockets, Warriors, everybody's excited about Assuming Boston closes it out tonight against Philly, 
I'm looking at the conference finals. Chris, I would be more shocked if the Houston Rockets defeated the Warriors than if Boston beat LeBron. And here's why. When I look at the Warriors, and people have been bashing them the regular season, they weren't there, Curry's hurt, blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, man, the way Houston dismembered Utah, I just look at the Warriors' defense and I say, there's no way they're doing this against Draymond, Durant, Igudala, Klay Thompson, four of the top 20 players in the NBA, okay? And then you look at the Warriors' defense. And it's just like lights out when they were switching on everything since they inserted Iguodala into the lineup. I, I can't see the Houston offense being this efficient. I know that they live and die by the three. And they died by the three twice in the postseason against Minnesota once and Utah once. I just, I think Vegas has the Warriors as favorites, and I like the Warriors to win handily. I would be shocked if you're Houston Rockets. They're not my the Houston Rockets. I think the Warriors will beat them too. Um, but I give the Rockets a better chance than I give the Celtics against the Cavs. Like, the Celtics will, they have no chance of beating the Cavaliers. You're going on record, no chance. Didn't I just say it? The Celtics <laughs> have no chance wow. of beating okay. the Cavaliers. Can I interject a question real quick? No chance okay. whatsoever, and Houston has a chance. I give Houston, I was at 30% during the regular season. I'll go 25% okay. so right now. So I went on Cal and Cowherd show this week, and we broke down the intangibles. Cleveland vor- versus um, Boston. Boston. Who's got the better coach, Brad Stevens or Ty Lue? Boston. Next next question. Who was a better on three-point shooting, Boston or Cleveland, in the playoffs, in the regular season? Well, in the regular season? Go by the percentages. Just go by it. Well, a percentage may be Boston, Boston. but Cleveland okay. made more. Who was the better? Cleveland made more. Made more, but the percentage okay. to Boston. Better defensive team. Statistics say Boston or Cleveland. Boston, but okay. Boston. So has Boston's it. a better but defensive team. I could Boston say that. Boston is a better three point shooting team. Could I not say team. that about several teams in the NBA? You could, the but they're not playing. The difference is here, LeBron yes, James. That's the one advantage they have. Who's the best player on Boston? I, I, Al Horford, maybe. Who's no, the best player on Cleveland? That was a joke. No, who is it? It no, might it's be LeBron. Al Horford. We know, we know it's Who's LeBron. the best player on Boston? I, w- I would say Jason Tatum. Every little thing you said. Gets nullified because of by the best player on Boston is Jason Tatum. The best player, or whoever you say, okay. the best player on Cleveland is LeBron James. Okay. Period. Fine. The end. So in you, I Indiana. can say the same. Hold on. No, Wait, no, 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 no. We're not done. Up, we're not done. Since here. you brought it up, Toronto, Cleveland. Forget Toronto. No, no, no. It's out. Since it's you done. Brought, Think about Indiana. Since you stretched, since you brought stretched it up, Cleveland to seven. Forget since Toronto. It, no, no, no. Who's the better three-point shooting team during the season? Who made more? Toronto. Who was the better defensive team during the season? Who, Toronto. Who was the only team to be in the top five Stop. offense defense? That is silly. Tor- that is silly. Who had two all-stars? That, that, Tor- like, I mean, I mean, that's as silly no, as your no, Boston No, 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 that's argument. different because the Toronto Raptors are so hard as every Who had the better coach? Had the better so coach? Toronto every or Cleveland? Well, I, I don't know. Ty Lue or Dwayne the, Casey's Dwayne a toss-up. Casey was third in, in, in <laughs> no, no. my But see, here's why that doesn't apply. When you look at Indiana. Because of LeBron James. When you period. Look at, well, Toronto's stupid. They're not a smart team. Indiana pushed them to seven. Here's what they did, Chris. You know this. They said, LeBron's going to get 40 and probably get a triple-double. He didn't get 40 every game. Well, he's going to get about 40. We need to <laughs> lock down Kyle Korver and Kevin Love. And Indiana did that. They, they locked them up. The series went seven. Boston is a better defensive team than Indiana. They're going to do the same thing. And I believe with home court advantage, which Indiana did not have, I think Boston's a real live dog in this series. I think they can pull They're it off. They're a dog, Chris. all right, and they're going to get silenced. So, so like you're a saying dog. swept? No, I mean five, six. I mean whatever. It'll be six at the most, probably five. Um, here's the How thing. How many games are you giving the, the thing Rockets? You're not recognizing. Kevin Love was playing horribly against Indiana. Okay. He'll play much, but he's oh, now really? found his groove. Against Al Horford, who's doing awesome against Ty Joel Embiid. Lou was using against a Mr. Morris, oh, no. who's a monster. Rodney Hood started against yeah. Indiana. He ain't he's not no even more. in the rotation. Right. Exactly. Kyle, uh, Ty Lue has done some good things in, this, in these playoffs where he's found his group starting lineup, and the, the role players are playing much better. That's the difference. Okay. Well, they played poorly they against, Indiana against Indiana because Indiana. of the defensive structure you from had, Nate McMillan. And Brad Stevens is a better defensive coach. Brad Stevens is a great coach. It's not that difficult not to fight, figure out the matchups. He's not coming up with something that's going to lock up LeBron no, James. Lock, LeBron's going to get 40. Who cares? As long as Corver doesn't get 15 you know and Love LeBron's doesn't get 15. You know what LeBron's also going to get? 
nine assists. Nine assists and probably 12 so rebounds. So who's making those baskets? Well, Other teammates. Well, who made them against Indiana? They barely won game seven by what? Okay, they four were points? playing horribly. Their line, they didn't have their rotation set. Okay. They were still going with I, the young novices, I, I don't Larry know how Nance you can and go Jordan from, Clarkson. I don't know how you can go from that Indiana series to Toronto and think everything's fine in Cleveland. And, like, they're peachy and Cleveland's going to be awesome. I don't think they're some world beater. They're going to get smashed probably in the finals. But I, Boston is not that great. But Boston H- is Houston's a bunch great. of role players. Houston's great. Oh, Houston's a great team. Houston is a hey, great... Hey, why didn't you have Kyle Kuzma if, come in here and Just judges? because Houston may lose to Golden State may. doesn't mean they're not a may great team. May lose to Golden State? Doesn't mean they're not a great team. <laughs> I mean, you saying they're not a great team? They they're beat Gold... Team. Hold on. Well, I'm not done Win with Win something. Get down I don't even and, need my notes. Get down and pick I don't up even your need my Hold notes. On. Houston beat Golden State. Now, again... Oh, and are on, you talking regular let me season? Finish. Are you I'm really on, bringing that garbage I'm up? On the, <laughs> I'm Andre Udala did not play in two of the games. Look, stop. You got, be quiet. Stop with the regular let me, season. Let me talk, all right? Or you will be out of the zone, all right? Now, look, uh, they beat them two out of three. And don't tell me those games were big. Now, I'm with you. I think the Rockets are going to – or the Warriors wow. are going to win because I know – I've talked to people up there. They are dying to get to Houston. They can't wait to play the okay. Rockets. Okay, stop with so the hedging win. and probably and maybe. No, no, I, I didn't. want hard statements. How many games do the Rockets lose this series in? I'm putting you on the spot. No, I don't care hey, about how you go. many you know, games. You can't handle Five the heat. Six. I mean, I don't care. You can't about handle it. the heat in the zone. Look, look, how many games is Boston look, winning? The question was, who would you be more shocked yeah. at winning a series if Houston beats Golden State? I will be stunned. I will be floored. But I will not be as surprised as if Boston beats LeBron James. Never doubt Brad Stevens. You got a bunch of role. Never doubt LeBron James against a bunch of role players. When has he ever gone down against a team that didn't have a superstar? That's a good question. I don't know. Probably never. Was it Orlando? They had Dwight Howard. They had Dwight Howard. Um... Was it that Boston super team? They had three Hall of Famers. <laughs> Come on, I was hoping you'd talk about Golden State. Gold. Dallas had Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, it doesn't happen. Well, Jason Tatum. You're has... not, he's young. He's too, he's gonna be really good. Is but Jason he's Tatum not gonna ready. win an MVP award in his career? I don't think so, no. I would Put me bet down for against yes. it. I would bet All right, let's it. move on after that defeat, Chris. Um LeBron, your guy, you can't stop talking You're about him. You're this close you, to being out of the you zone. You never. I, you gotta bring more stuff. You gotta bring I, better I mean, I, arguments. I, I, man. I feel bad just crushing you. You get butt. whipped. Every, have you ever won? No. I, my gosh, I thought that was a curb stomping by me. Oh, I just man. destroyed you, pounded you into oblivion. The commenters are on my side, and they're, you, they're gonna really? love this one. Really? So LeBron's a free really? agent. We know he ain't staying. All the commenters on they your side. They are on my side, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> they call him Goat Sorry. When you by the get way. one out of ten, he feels like okay, they're on my side. LeBron James, your buddy, your 33-year-old who you like to text, uh, are you going to send him flowers, you know, uh, this summer just to congratulate him on life? I thought you were about to call him a mother. <laughs> Stop I, it. I thought that's yeah, what you were referring to. Weekend, sure. um, the Lakers and the Sixers seem to be the only two teams in the mix. I know Cowherd's talking up Houston. We're, are you going to dismiss Houston? Let's just focus on Lakers, Sixers, right? Those seem like the most logical destinations. I still think it's a no-brainer. It's got to be Lakers. And the reason is simple. Chris, they don't have to give up anybody. And they have two max slots. You get to keep Lonzo, Kuzma, Josh Hart. You get to add Paul George to Brandon Ingram, LeBron. That's a, that's a great 60-win core. You give up nothing. You want, I know you like the Sixers, but I'm telling you, the Lakers make all the sense in the world. Philly can only afford one max slot. And we know they LeBron. They got two budding stars. Do time they out. need another uh, max You'll get guy? your time, all right? Do they need another the max The Sixers guy? know that LeBron only has changed places and gone with, uh, uh, with a wingman. He went to Miami with Chris Bosh. He went back to Cleveland with Kevin Love. He's going to the Lakers with Paul George. LeBron doesn't just make a move. Oh, I'm going to just do this by myself. He has a blueprint. Look, it works that everywhere. That is the goes. most ridiculous Wh- thing. Why? Because it works? How is it ridiculous? That's to what LeBron say, does. Because when he went to Miami, they only had one star. And he brought a when friend. When he went back to Cleveland, they only had one and star. And he brought a if friend. If you want to say he wants a big three, then I'll respect big that. Big three? He's going to have a but big five say, in L.A. Just, who are the other three? Well, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. That's not a big five? No. 
That's a big two. Better put some respect on the Lakers. That's a big two. Okay. All right. That's LeBron and Paul George. I like Kyle Kuzma. I like Brandon Ingram. I like Lonzo Ball. But we don't know what any of them are going to be. Okay. That's fair. Ben Simmons right now is a star. How many threes did he make this year? Doesn't matter. How many jumpers outside the paint did he make this year? How many triple doubles did he have? Ten? Eleven? I, said, I don't know what it is, but it was a good amount. He had a bunch of triple doubles. He, he, ben Simmons will be, a, without question, Chris, you being all. Oh, no, no, let me. No, no. I let you talk. Okay. I let you all say. Right. I, you're right. I let your yeah. gibberish yeah. spew. I, you let me dominate. Right? Ben Simmons will be an all star next year. Joel Embiid will be an all star next year. Was a starter mm-hmm. this year. Kyle Lowry is an all star. But continue. Yeah. You have a big three. You don't need. Nobody wants a big four. The Warriors don't want a big four. Well, the Chris, Warriors hey, let's have edit a big that four. out. I feel Chris is saying silly stuff. Here. Not with LeBron James. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> Nobody wants a big four finish, with LeBron that. James, okay. all right? You only need a big three. And in Philly, you have a big three already. LeBron doesn't need to bring somebody there. Now, if Kawhi wants to join him, fine. They could trade for him. But LeBron, Simmons, Embiid could win a championship, put some shooting. Now, Sarich is a pretty good shooter You're gonna have from to, three. Okay. Covington is a pretty good shooter from three. They're locked up. You can add a few other shooters here or there. You're losing Redick. Just like you added, yeah, it, well. You're losing Ilya Sova, you're you losing Bellinelli. Lose, you would lose, you can add, just like you added Ilya Sova and Bellinelli this year, I think you can add guys like that next year. Redick would be a big loss, but... Reddick might, I, I don't know, but Reddick might say, you know what? I'm going to stay here for a chance to win the championship. He got $20 million this year. 23, I think. 23, yeah. okay. So he might say, let me give it a go and see if we can win a ring. That's not out of the question for a little less money than he could get well, on the open fair, market. fair, but he could get okay. Well, okay. Now, who has the better chance of winning their conference next year? LeBron in Philly. Or LeBron in L.A.? The better chance of winning their conference. Well, LeBron said that this Just week. An- it doesn't me. matter. Just he answer. said he could be the eighth seed, the third, the fifth. It don't matter. He's going to go in your place and win. Winning the no, conference doesn't no. mean jack answer. squat. Do you not follow the logic? I'm saying if LeBron is in Philly or if, if you put LeBron in L.A., which of those two teams would you think Philly would have a better chance of getting to the finals or the Lakers would have a better well, chance? I, I, honestly... Uh, the Celtics with Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, Tatum, Brown. That's a loaded team. That's okay, a 60 how about plus Golden State team. with Kevin okay. Durant, Golden Steph State Curry, and Draymond Green, Clay listen, Thompson. I love the Warriors. Houston? They're going to the Which finals. Which team would have a better For, chance? Houston, let's, let, can they win a game or two? Answer for? me. I think it's a toss-up. I, I'm you honestly, don't think it's a toss-up. I think Boston you is going to be. You're saying that because no, you got no, stuck. No, no, you know no. it's Philadelphia. No. Now, and look, because the East isn't as good, and that's my point. Why go west? Hey, you forgot about Toronto. No, I can't. Even Why say go west? If you can get a quality team to better with team. Ben Simmons, LeBron James, uh, Joel Embiid. You think that Philly team that you just said, Markel Fultz, who can't shoot a lick, Ben Simmons can't shoot, uh, Simmons, and B- you think that team is better than the Laker core with Paul George? Yes. Kuzma? Oh, no way. Because Joel Embiid. I totally did. Joel this is a 60 win Laker team. I have three all time greats. On that six Sixers team, which one of them is not going to be an all-time great? Come on, which one is not Joel gonna be an, Embiid? Who can, he's not going to be an all-time he great? He can't even Don't guard the in the Celtics thing. series. I know he's had a good he's season. He's not going to be an all-time great. He could be. Can he play some what defense? What about Simmons? Is he going to lead the ben NBA Simmons? in turnovers again? I mean, he's a, good a turnover defender. machine. He can't guard Al Horford. He can't guard the pick and roll. Just because he can't Stevens, guard Al Horford. Are you watching this series closely? They are attacking Joel Embiid. They're making him run all over the court. He's getting abused. That's defensively. He's having Every team awful doesn't series. do that. Okay. Well, I'm just saying in this series, Embiid and looks bad not defensively. De- they were one of the best defensive teams in the league in the all league. season, and now he's getting Joel Embiid in one series. Okay. Lakers. They go on Steph Curry Lakers. every Come on, time. Man. No, 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 no. Stop. That's you, a, listen, I'm it, not I, done with you. Okay, keep going. The Come flogging on. must you, continue. You need more if ammo. If LeBron James goes to the Lakers with Paul George, that's a really good team. They would be elite. They would have a shot. But the favorite would still be Golden State and maybe who Houston. Who cares who the favorite is? No, let is. me finish. If he goes to Philly, they are the favorite to win the East. They would win the East. LeBron James could lead that Philadelphia team to a championship 
next year or in the year following, potentially a couple championships. And then as he got older, as he got older and Simmons and MB came into their own, they could maybe lead him okay. to another championship or two. So he could, hold on. And down the line, you could, if LeBron goes to Philly, I could see him finishing with five or six titles. And then years from now, people are going to say, he's got, his, he many, do he's that got his many. In L.A., he might never get to the okay. finals. Chris, hold on, hold on. <sighs> he may, in Philly, hear me out. Now, it's all hypothetical. It all has to be played out. You have to play the games. Mm-hmm. But in Philadelphia, I can see a way he could win two, three championships. Okay. Let me ask in you In L.A., this. you still have to get through the Warriors, Houston, a, a much tougher conference okay. in I general. I thought you were going to say Spurs or something dumb. No, just okay. a much com- tougher Let, conference in we, general. Okay, I don't want to go too long. Much We've better seen chance. Ben Simmons have a great year, rookie of the year. He's dominant because he has the ball in his hands a lot of the time. LeBron, I don't know how he, who needs the ball in his hands a lot, is all of a sudden going to work with a Ben Simmons. He I've would been, work I'm, in I'm L.A. in that you, system. I'm, I know. I, I know. Lot, no, no, you just shot yourself in the foot. Let me, let me say this. First of all, Lonzo has the ball in his hands, too. Okay? Not just, even just like close ben, to the ben level Simmons, of Ben Simmons. No, neither one of them is ball dominant. And No, hold on. Let me finish. You Lonzo's made your point. a pass you first point guard. Don't compare and to Simmons Ben Simmons. Simmons isn't? He's not a pass first. He's a scoring machine. He averaged 16, 8, and 8. You talking Lonzo about doesn't shoot. something out. What, what, what? 16 points is a scoring machine? He is the second leading scorer on that team. I'm, Lonzo's look, like fifth Josh on the Lakers. Josh Bowman, you are now in the zone. Oh, okay. He's done. This is his what last week. What are you talking about? This is about? his last week. He just said averaging 16 points a game is a, is a scoring machine. He just said Ben a Simmons. A rookie. Let me finish. A rookie. Stop. Stop. Let me finish. Ben Chris, Simmons, you're... who took 11, 12 <laughs> shots a game, is not a pass first point guard? Did you watch the dude but... play? I'm serious. You're done. You're done in the All zone. he does is the run zone. the offense, attack the basket, draw ben, double teams, kick ben the ball out. Ben Simmons is not ball dominant. Oh, just, my gosh. Just because you are a point guard does not mean you are ball dominant. I mean, I'm not calling him James Harden. Okay, I'm not calling him Russell Westbrook, but he's a ball dominant point guard. No, he's Lonzo not. is pass no, he's first. No. Lonzo's who's more and Jason Simmons Kidd? Simmons isn't pass first. Who is more? Who, hold on. Who averaged more assists? Who is more? Who averaged average more assists? Lonzo missed 30 games. Who averaged average? Ben Simmons average. played like not way total. more minutes a game. Average. No, that's asinine, Chris. You're comparing a guy who plays way more minutes a game to Lonzo Ball. Asinine? Yes, it is. You know what's asinine? To say Ben Simmons is not a pass first point guard. I'm really questioning your basketball. Who is knowledge. more Jason Kidd? I'm really Who questioning. Who is more pass ben first? Ben Simmons is Magic Johnson. Forget Jason Kidd as great as he was. Ben Simmons is going to be Magic Johnson. Simmons You're actually is- comparing Russell Westbrook to Ben Simmons. No! They're completely different You're players. taking this out of context, Chris. Let's go back no, to your no, original no, no, question. No. Be back qu- it up. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be, 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 back it up. Back it up to your original question. LeBron playing with Lonzo is a pass-first offense. The ball doesn't get sticky. Okay? And he nope. gets sticky in Philadelphia? Well, Philadelphia has two dominant players, as you said, Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. LeBron never, never is ball dominant. You don't two know basketball, Two dominant man. players who the ball Honestly. goes through. Let's talk well, Okay, rugby. you're right, you're right. Let's it goes go, through J.J. Go Redick, it goes through Ilya Sova, it goes through D- Dario Serra. You're right, okay. Yeah. Nobody on Philadelphia's team is ball dominant. They have two dominant players. Who the ball is in their that hands the most. Because they're the best players. That doesn't mean they're ball dominant. Michael Jordan was not ball dominant. Mike, the offense ran through Michael he Jordan. He took a lot of shots, but yes. he didn't over dribble. He didn't hold the ball for 15 seconds. Uh, my head That's is hurting. That's ball are, are dominant. We, what are we discussing, Chris? We are discussing. Whether or not LeBron would work in stop. Philly All right, let me or make, the Lakers. Stop. Let me make my point. All right. You've been running your mouth with gibberish for uh, 20 minutes. Because you're not saying anything. Stop. stop. All right, look, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm thinking of your foolishness. But <laughs> I'm going to respond to this, so right, keep going. Right, I'll, I'll let you, you do. I won't interrupt. LeBron James in Philly off the ball, okay? Ben Simmons, if you watch Ben Simmons, he's not ball dominant, okay? TJ McConnell handled the ball a lot, all right, in game four. They won. He showed he can play off the ball when he has to. They can post. Yep. He can post. He can't it shoot. Worked. He can post. He can't shoot. He will shoot better. All right, is that is that it? I'm done. Okay, so let me respond. Off the ball, LeBron. I'm, 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 I, I... Now I'm gonna no. I gotta Get ask a follow. I gotta follow up. Ask a follow up. You say LeBron off the ball. 
Does that say, just to the audience now, out there, I, are you trying to turn LeBron, a 33-year-old MVP runner-up this year, into a guy, a spot-up shooter? No. What are you trying to turn him into? Because you don't understand. Ball? Being off the ball doesn't mean you're a spot-up shooter. LeBron's so never going to be a spot-up You need to define shooter. that for people who are like LeBron no, off the ball. No, I'm not putting LeBron, LeBron as a spot-up shooter. off the ball with the Lakers, that is significantly, if that position you described, LeBron off the ball posting up, with the Lakers, it makes all the sense in the world because they have the shooters. I know Lonzo didn't shoot Who? well, but they also okay, Brandon. So they don't count Lonzo. No, he did shoot forty percent on threes in college. It's oh, there. Oh, oh, no, that, stop! College. Stop! Oh, oh, ben Simmons no, no, did no. not make a three pointer all season. So stop! Oh, no, 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 well, no! College call? three point is the college three point line the same as the Fine. NBA? Ben Simmons is made it? zero. Is it? No, it's not. All right, then don't bring that up. Then don't bring that up. With the Lakers off the ball. Who else is a shooter? They have shooters. Who else is a shooter? All right, look. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, and Paul George. That would be surrounding LeBron. They all oh, are great stop shooters. Stop interrupting. Off the ball. Great you, shooters. You talked about LeBron posting up off the ball. The Lakers would have four shooters around the Sixers. Ben Simmons can't make a three. Markel Fultz can't shoot. Okay? The Sixers, it doesn't make sense. They don't have the shooters. The Lakers do. Even if you say, fine, Lonzo can't make them, Josh Hart First can come all, in and make them. None of the those Lakers, guys you named your, your say scenario, Kyle Kuzma is ball, a shooter. Off the ball makes a ton of sense with the Lakers. If that's what he wants to transition See, to. See, your problem is you think off the ball is sitting at the three point line. No, no, waiting you, for I just said posting up. You, you draw the double in LA. Posting up. Off the ball cutting. anywhere. The Lakers have the better shooters. Posting up. Cutting. Uh, setting down screens, up screens, at the elbows. There's so much you okay. can do off the ball other than sit in the corner and wait for a three-point shot. The, okay, if that's in, what that you don't scenario, understand. in that scenario, which I love, who's got the better shooters, Lakers or Sixers? That's okay, a wrap. Lakers right. might have better shooters. There you go, so it makes sense. Your scenario makes who's more sense Who's got better players? What, MB, what who want? on the Lakers is close to MB? Nobody. Who That's on the not Lakers is close argument. to Simmons? They don't have anybody of that caliber. They're going to get LeBron and you Paul George. You have a big three. You get LeBron and Paul I George, take better Simmons, than Simmons and I Embiid. would take Simmons and Embiid over Paul George. Over Paul Go George and LeBron? Over Paul George. So I think LeBron, it would be three yeah, better players. NBA is not a two-on-two -two game, Chris. I, first of all, I'm talking about three. Simmons, Embiid, LeBron. Yeah. And, and then good role players around him. Look. He okay. would be, they, the Lakers would be good. Don't get me wrong. I'm good? not saying they would be, they would be a great team. Great team, thank you. But it's in the and, West. And, and, they wouldn't I, be I the best team in their conference. I can't wait to see the comments on this. You really think playing off the ball in Philly, he would be better than playing off the ball in L.A. Where the Lakers I think have he'd a be great better both places. The Lakers have a better supporting But my supporting point is cast. I think Philly would be a better team and they would be in the East. All right, it's your podcast. I'll let you have the final word. So well, that, go ahead. We, we got one more. No, no. You find on a this? word on that topic. That was, I, that was good. We I went a little enough. off. Okay. I think I, 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 thought I, that was... I, I said enough. Okay. Final topic, Chris. Uh, the Raptors got swept by LeBron. Boy, a lot of LeBron today. He's had a pretty good postseason. Do you think Toronto should blow it up and start all over, fire their coach, trade DeRozan, trade Lowry? I'm of the belief they should not. I believe LeBron's going to the Lakers. I think the East opens up. Then it becomes a Boston, Philly. Toronto can get in the mix there. Uh, this is a team that's going to win 50 to 55 games every year. They got a good bench. I, I just think that's like your ceiling. You're not winning a title if you blow it up in five years. You're not winning a title if you keep it. Just be happy you're not paying the luxury tax. You got a full arena. You're going to a round or two in the playoffs. I personally would not blow it up. Well, I, I believe it or not, I, I agree with believe you. Believe it or not. Uh, oh, it, it makes me wonder what's going on that I yeah. agree with Maybe you. Maybe you need to check Question, yourself. Yeah, I do need to check myself agreeing with you. No, nah, I wouldn't blow it up. Um, Toronto may never win a title. Okay, It's hard to get superstars to stay there. They had three. Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Chris Bosh. They all left in free agency. So what they've done is they've got two stars who like being there, who are excited about being there. And they got role players, most of them international, who will stay. They are a very good team. I think Dwayne Case is a, a very good coach. He was third on my coach of the year ballot. I don't think he high. should be fired. But if the only thing is they have to figure out, do we need a new voice? It would not be an indictment on him because he's done a great a job. voice for what? Sometimes you need a new voice. Sometimes you need they, to mix didn't something they win up. 58 games? You could try, yeah, but in the play, the thing is they keep failing in the playoffs. Well, no, now, no, yeah, no, 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 they let, keep no, losing to LeBron. Let me finish, let me finish. No, they're not failing against scrubs. Jason, let me finish. All right. 
they keep losing in the playoffs. You're right. They can't get by one guy, LeBron James. But the team keeps failing. Sometimes in that situation, you need to bring in a new voice. I'm not saying they do. I like Casey. I think he should stay the coach. I do. But they, their front office knows what's going on in the locker room. They know if they feel we just need a new look. Now, I don't know who that guy is, but I'm just saying that's let the me, case. Yeah, let me but ask, I'm with okay. you that you can't judge everything on did we win a championship. I don't think Portland should blow it up, Washington, no. But let me but ask hold you on, no, But I want to say to you, well, go ahead. because okay. I, I, I got So, it. a new voice. This is let's, let's not pretend this is a Warriors with Mark Jackson situation where you just get rid of Mark Jackson, you bring in Steve Kerr, a new voice, presto, you're going to win time. I just don't see that happening. Toronto fans need to get realistic. I, I, you say you're a realist. I'm a realist. I think they can the max voice out. Would, at, if, if you bring in a new voice, it would largely be for the fans. Because they, you, you, need you need would to give the fans, these, these guys? You would give the fans something, you know, a, a shake-up. And again, I'm not advocating this. I'm fine with Dwayne Case. I think he's been a, done, like I said, third on my ballot. What, what, Great job. Okay, let's hypothetical. Nobody what, knew Brad what are the fans Stevens be happy was with? that guy. The fans are going to be happiest if LeBron leaves the East, <laughs> Eastern Conference. That's it. If he stays in Philly, as you say, no chance. Just forget right, it. Look, then you might as well blow it up. Let's go beyond that because you, you and I debated vehemently. I think I said that right uh, last week that you think Russell Westbrook should be traded. Oh, yeah. Because they're not going to win a championship with them. But you just sat here and you said Toronto should not blow it up, even though they're not going to win right. a championship. Uh, Philly, or who'd you say? To, uh, Portland. Portland, Portland and, and Washington. Washington. Yeah. Same thing. So what's the difference? Why should Oklahoma City blow it up because they're not going to win a championship, but those three teams okay. should. Uh, let me explain. That's a great question. Two of whom have won championships before. I know you didn't know that. Portland and what, in the <laughs> 1970s? <laughs> but they won championships. Okay. Got it. Two, so, the, Portland and Washington have won So titles. this is a three-pronged thing. Let me get through it. For starters, Russell Westbrook is going to turn 30 in November. He's had three surgeries on his right knee. Players like who play his style, crashing to the hoop, attacking the basket, can't shoot threes, they're not going to transition well into their 30s. He's going to be getting like 40 million a year. It's a different day. Well, he can't shoot threes. That Kobe nothing's Bryant changing about that. Kobe Bryant transitioned pretty well into Kobe his Bryant 30s. Kobe Bryant was always an okay three-point shooter, and I, I, I think he's a oh, better he's a offensive better shooter player. than Westbrook. And he's a better but, defensive but, player but as well. But he kept his athleticism. Okay. Is my point. So LeBron James has kept his athleticism. The number two, OKC's tried to rebuild on the fly twice when they lost they had Kevin Durant they kind of maxed out they got to the rebuild finals. on the fly yes they said let's change it up we lost Durant you bring in Victor Oladipo who's a nice player number two overall pick they tried that it didn't work lost in the first round then they tried to rebuild on the fly again Paul George uh Carmelo Anthony that didn't work at what point do you say man we don't know who works with Russell Westbrook can anybody should we just try to blow it up and number three the third team in the luxury tax after Golden State and Cleveland, who are going to the finals probably again this year, is going to be Oklahoma City. Not next Their year. Their owner, well, as of now, we'll see, we'll see what happens with Melo and Paul George. Well, if, if, if Paul George stays. Your owner's now paying you, a you, massive. Is wait, Paul wait, George wait, staying? I don't think he's staying. But okay, pay, if he leaves, will they be in the luxury their tax? Their owner here in, a, I think, a couple weeks is going to have to write a massive check to the NBA for a luxury tax bill, and they didn't get out of the first round. To me, if I'm the owner... What can we if do? Paul George, How can we if, avoid it? If Paul George leaves next this summer, are they going to be in the luxury tax? I, I haven't run the no. numbers. Are you sure about that? That's what the, okay. this number well, says. My counter that, to that is that correct? We, do we know? All right. So here's the better <laughs> Our question. Research. Here's the better question, Chris. Are they even going to the playoffs without Paul George in the West next year? Denver was right there. Did they make? I think the Lakers. Hold on, hold on. Did they make the playoffs before Paul George got there? They did last year okay. and lost in the first okay. round. They made the playoffs though. Right. Listen, and then they made listen. the playoffs this year and lost okay, in the first round again. Okay, you made your case. It's basically based on the money. All right. Here's something well, else. Well, no, it's here's, money. Here's and something else about, I think the definition about, of insanity is trying to do the same thing over and well, over why, again. And why should they doing. do it in Toronto, Washington, and Portland? Toronto hasn't blown it up. They've kept the core, and they're still right there. They've got right out of the first round. As, as far as what? They got to the second round this year. They got to the so conference that's it, finals. So that's round is, is why you're arguing. 55, and they're actually getting rounds in the playoffs. Here's the thing. They haven't said Oklahoma oh. City 
has a superstar. I'm just going to lay it out for you again. The fans love him. You're talking about money. As long as Russell Westbrook's there, they're going to sell out that arena. Okay. If he, if you trade him for draft picks, the attendance will probably go down. And you may never, you, teams, there are teams that are in the lot, lottery for nearly a decade. Orlando, Phoenix, okay. Sacramento, uh, I, Detroit. I can't help those dumb front offices making bad mistakes it's over and over again. It's just not that easy okay. to, to get in the lottery and get that superstar. Well, you know they could the, go 25 years without getting a player of the caliber of Russell Westbrook. If that's their ineptitude, that's their problem. But listen, the Milwaukee Bucks are going to be next up on this, okay? They have been trying to build around Giannis. They don't Next know what up to in do. in terms of what? Well, I, I mean, you So they should trade Giannis? I don't think they should trade Giannis, oh but you, you're telling me that if you're Giannis looking around the league, man, look at all these superstars teaming up, all these Olympians getting together. Who do I have? I got Chris Middleton? The, the Eric Bledsoe? Well, I can't that, get that, out of the first round? That's a different uh, conversation. Uh, listen, well, you said well, yeah, you, because you N- implied, NBA players you never implied hold anybody that hostage. Milwaukee should – are you implying that they should think Hell about no, trading? that's all they've got. That's all they have. They need to build around That's it. all Oklahoma has. Oklahoma has tried to build around Westbrook. It's not working. So, so trade they had Kevin Durant. To, they had James Harden. 20 Victor games Oladipo and get the lottery. lottery. Giannis doesn't have nobody. He had Greg Monroe Look, and what I'm Jabari telling, Parker. What you, you're Eric contradicting Bledsoe. yourself. I'm not at all. You are. Okay, you're so saying, tried. You're saying Washington, Portland, Toronto should be content with being relevant. I'm saying the I mean, same. I'm agreeing with that. No, of course you try to win. Yeah. You want to put together the best team. You get in the Every playoffs, week you come and here and sit next to me it. and you're like, I'm going to hang with McIntyre this week. I, I got, I'm going to do my best. No matter what he says, I'm going to do my best. Look, These stop teams, making jokes because you're trying to divert the attention from you to losing. Die. Look, Russell Westbrook keeps them relevant. They will be on national television with Russell Westbrook. He will be a Hall of Famer. He will put butts in the seats. And you try to build around him. If it doesn't win you a championship, so be it. I've gone through it with you before. Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, Chris Webber, Patrick Ewing, Carl Malone, great players who never led franchises to championships. But their era with that franchise was tremendous. And it's going to be the same thing with Russell Westbrook. Those guys 15, got out of the first years round, from the, Chris? He's been to the finals. With Kevin Durant and James Harden. So what? They're gone. He still went to the finals. What's he done since they left, Chris? Won an MVP. Average triple-doubles twice. Individual awards. Woo! That's relevant. Okay. Well, Allen Iverson if, never won anything I, but I just, individual wish, awards. You know, remember when we did that uh, LeBron, You uh, act Dan like it's Gilbert not skip? great to we have a, do, a superstar. We should do. It is good to have a superstar. Star, but when it's not working over and over. It is working and to a degree. Everything, no, I mean, half the teams in the league have never won third championships. High, see, that's moving the goalposts. When the argument is we've got the third highest payroll, we tried with Oladipo, you we tried with Paul. You keep saying that. But those are facts. They won't have disputing. the third highest payroll okay. next year. So are they going to make the playoffs next year? Yes. We should. Can we put a wager on this? Can we, anything on the fly? Didn't they, they made the playoffs last year. Right. Are they going to make it next yes. year? Yes. Okay. Are they going to get out of the first round, Chris? Jay Mac. I, 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 knock down. I'll I'm never out. go down. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs>